quoting this, there was a case that came up in my constituency in Cambridge. Richard Taylor, who is a, a local blogger and a, an extremely assiduous attender of council meetings and writes them up in, in, in immense detail, described a council meeting which was looking at enforcement action against a property in Cambridge being used as a bed and breakfast without the benefit of planning permission. This has, read to a, this has led to a rather bizarre libel threat from an organisation known as WWFS Limited or UK Law Consultants Company, who, who say they're consultant solicitors. Now, the claim, I have to say, Mr Deputy Speaker, appears to me to be baseless, though I'm, I'm not an expert in this field, but especially since the people claiming refuse to say which part of his description they actually find defamatory. And they've similarly gone on to threaten other commentators with threats. Now, Mr Taylor writes on, on his blog, where all of this is there, if anybody would like to have a look at uh, rtaylor.co.uk, and he comments, and I think this should worry all of us, my view is that this kind of thing is one of the reasons people shy away from entering discussion of how we run our society, be it at the local level in Cambridge or more broadly. Having received the threat of legal action, I have had to consider if I am prepared to risk everything I have in order to do what I consider to be the right thing and to continue to publish the material. This is to an extent the question which has to be asked before publishing any material. Every blog post and every tweet could potentially be per personally ruinous. Should the case reach court, the cost of defending it, even if the judgment were in my favour, could exceed my resources. Now, I have to say, in this case, there are a number of people with, with legal training and others who are, who are, I believe, assisting Mr Taylor in this case, and I think he will be all right, and he is also determined enough to get through this case.